Now let's look at the guards, the folks that kind of make this thing go. Now what I do, I do a drill, and we'll go ahead and look at that. I do a drill where I take these guys completely out, okay? And I put like a bag right here to symbolize a bag of some kind, blocking bag, to symbolize my down block, my H's butt. And I put these cones here, and these cats here are gone too, okay? Oh, and I got a guy here and a guy here, okay? And the center is involved in this, so you put a guy here so he can block back. And meanwhile, you take your tackles and your H's, and this is perfect for a uh, school that uh, doesn't have many coaches. Uh, a lot of your small schools, I was talking to a guy this week, he coached at a couple of places. We're talking public high schools in Alabama and Mississippi where there weren't but two or three coaches. And that really limits you. And it's hard to do any type of group or individual time. You end up getting doing a lot of team time. But this is a drill during your offensive time that you can split the kids in half. And if you can just don't have but two coaches, if you can get a former player or somebody just to throw balls to your, your receivers, take the guys that are going to do your blocks, your tackles and your H's or your Y's if you got tight ends, put them over on the side with the other coach and let them work on their down blocks while you do this drill with the guards. Now here's the drill right here. He's going to pull and get around that cone to give him an angle to get right here and give him different looks where the guy comes in and he has to log him and all that. But we, first off, first thing, teach him that. That's the force. I always put a D because we've called that outside linebacker a dog on our defense. And so we just all call them dogs. So it's the same terminology, same language on both sides of the football since a good chunk of the kids play both ways. Of course, he's going to work back blocking the nose. He's getting reps at doing that. Your quarterback, and you want your quarterback over there throwing to your receivers, you can have anybody do handing the ball off. A coach could be doing that or a backup quarterback, another player. All right, backside guard's going to pull. And I always teach him to pull flat. And when he clears the, the midline, the center's butt crack, he's going to get his depth and get around his cone. And I use different color cones, and I'll tell that right guard, okay, the red cone's yours, the blue cone's yours. Tell the tailback the green cone's his or whatever. And he's going to get around right here, and he's finding that bag. That's the, gar, the, the H's down block. Getting right in here, getting in that alley, as Lombardi called it, with his eyes inside, looking for the scraping backer. Okay? And then you're running buck with your quarterback, and your tail, I call him a tail. He's going to go to that cone, make that sweet 90-degree cut, really coach that up. I always used to love standing right here. And I would just stand right here and go like, you know, that way they couldn't stretch it because they didn't want to run into me. And boom, right there. And if you want to work on, if you're uh, doing the backside cutoff and make the second, the touchdown cut right here, you can put you another cone and boom, make that touchdown cut. And that's the buck sweep drill that you can do real easy. Like I said, your tackles, tight ends, H's are over there with another coach just working on down blocks, looking at different looks, working on long down blocks, short down blocks, things like that. While these guys are working on different ways, you know, to block the buck, working on their pulls. And you got to do it over and over and over again. I had a coach one time, young coach said, well, coach, we've been running the same play over and over again. And I said, yeah, did they get it right? And he said, yeah. I said, okay, now run it till they can't get it wrong. 